It's time for Garage Band Weekly here on Studio Live today. All Garage Band, all the time. Should we do it? Let's do it, shall we? Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly, Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly, Garage Band, Garage Band Weekly. Oh, you know it. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Garage Band Weekly and a special edition for those that are watching live. Yes, we are later in the day or a couple of hours later because I've been on holidays. Yeah, I've been on vacation, holiday, weekend away, whatever you want to call it. I've been down the beach and I've been having a little bit of downtime, which has been fabulous. So I wanted to make this show a little bit later to give myself some time. And you know what else that means? We don't have a whole lot prepared here, so this is going to be a special edition. We are going to be recording vocals, and we're going to do this, an all-vocal recording show. I'm going to be recording vocals live, and I'm going to be sharing all my tips and tricks and techniques for vocal recording in GarageBand, some of the ways that we can get some cool sounds, what the vocal presets do, what does EQ do, what does compression do, how do I set myself up to record vocals in GarageBand, so that if you're doing the same, then you can uh, check out and uh, maybe learn something or maybe teach me something you know what that's, that's the way it usually goes i usually learn more from you than you do from me in these shows but we're going to crack on and uh, get started anyway hello to the folks who are here live, uh, hello to the Gary Hubs. Yes, it is game day today. It is uh, game day. We've got the uh, the Rangers playing the Vancouver Canucks. So uh, this may turn into just a live stream about hockey. You never know. Hello to Mark Bro. Hello to Thomas Christ as well here. We are going to get started here. I just wanted to make sure because I had to take, I'll tell a bit of a story and then we'll crack on. I'll, I'll make sure there's timestamps down below for anyone who's watching on the replay. Uh, so on the weekend, I took my laptop, my new MacBook Pro to, away from the house for the very first time so it's the first time i actually went on the road with my back, back with my macbook pro it did really well was i a little worried um, leaving it in a less than secure environment than my own sort of fortress here yeah i was but uh it was worth it because i really got to learn how cool it was having the power of my whole thing on the go now don't get me wrong i didn't work the whole time i did one sound check for the happy hour show and then yesterday i recorded the happy hour show so i probably spent uh, in total about five hours doing work and then about 72 hours just chilling and relaxing and and drinking beers and listening to music and doing things like that and going to the beach so it's been a good time but i did want to check out because uh, again apple have been kind enough to let me be using this macbook for a while and I wanted to make sure that I could actually tell them uh, and tell you, hey, how does it work on the go? Plugging things in, how does it all work? So a couple of things, uh, not having a USB port kind of tripped me up. Uh, luckily, I took, I, I had in my kit bag, and this is why I have a kit bag full of gear when I'm on the go, is I had a little USB-C to four USB port adapters. So luckily, I did have that because my camera needed a USB regular. Like I could have probably scrounged around and found a USB-C cable, but that's probably the biggest drawback, if you want to call it that, of the newer laptops is that they've only got USB-C. And unless you're carrying d adapters and living the dongle life, then you may not have the right dongle at the right time. So always check your dongles before you leave the house. It's good advice. Your mother probably told you that. Clean underwear and check your dongles before you leave. So that was sort of number one. Number two, the battery life was amazing on these things. So the new Macs, the new Mac M1 laptops, all of them have pretty amazing batteries and this one's no exception. So I didn't even have to think about it. Uh, battery was at 80%. I took it over and took it down by the beach. I did my live show. I did my pre-set up. I did my post. Everything was fine. And I had 47% or something like that left at the end. So battery life on the new laptop was absolutely cool. And the one thing that you may have, it's still here in my kit. See, this is how unorganized I am and how just back I got. I've still got my kit bag here, still unpacked. But if you watched the live show, and this is relevant for garage banders and uh, mobile recorders in general, I put this little sucker to the test, the iRig Stream Pro. And boy, oh boy, did this thing work out well. Uh, all I did was use the two little uh, RCA jacks there. I had my amp, which is the Roland Cube Street. I sent the stereo out from the amp, put the stereo into this, plugged this into USB-C and told StreamYard, use this. And everything that came through the amp, so my vocals, my guitar, with the reverb, with the processing, it all came through this little thing. And for those that listened, and let me know in the chat if you were there and you listened to the live show, I think it sounded much better than when I'm in the studio. 
And that's saying something about this little piece of kit because it, it just grabbed that really nice clean sound and you got a little bit of the ambience because I was sort of out there and it was through the amp, but because it was the direct feed from the amp, it came through and I think it sounded really good. So uh, kudos to IK Multimedia. They uh, they gave me this one to review and I finally got around to using it. I'll have to let them know. And the cool thing about this is that, uh, as you probably can see there, it's got a combo jack as well. So if you don't have an amp and you want to go straight in with your mic or your guitar, you can do that. It also has a little jack there on the side so if you're using a headset mic you can use that so trrs so if you're just using your apple dirty buds you can plug them into this and use that to record as well and it's all street like it's called the stream pro because it's for streaming so uh yeah maybe maybe i need to start uh, using that here in the uh, in the uh in the studio uh, Mark says, yeah, sounded fuller and richer. Really liked it. Very cool. Uh, and Trevor Bear, let's say good day to other folks who are here. Trevor Bear is driving to In-N-Out Burger to get dinner. I've heard good things about In-N-Out Burger. Are they the ones that have the animal fries or something? Like you get them animal style and they put all like nice onion shock sauce sort of stuff on there. Anyway, maybe I'm going to get wrong. Uh, I know there's a lot of like this fat burger and there's In-N-Out Burger and there's all these like underground burger chains that you folks have over in the US that all sound much more interesting than, you know, Hungry Jack's or McDonald's. Although here we've got things like um, Fancy Burger and we've got Grilled and we've got, uh, what's the one that I like? Um, I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, I go there, Burger Foundry. Yeah, lots of good burger joints. I'm getting hungry. Can you tell us nearly lunchtime? Yeah. Uh, hello, Patrick Chandler. Hello, Lou Reality. G'day to you. Uh, who have I missed? I'm sure I've missed someone. John Frank Songs. G'day to you. I hope you want that. Yeah, you don't want an unchecked dongle. It can uh, can, can go, uh, go very pear-shaped. <laughs> and if it's going pear-shaped, you might want to get that checked out too. Oh man, this is why I do shows earlier in the morning because I uh, I lose this. Uh, in and out West Coast only. Ah, see, but you got Duncan. You live the Duncan lifestyle over on the East Coast, right? Duncan on every corner, and uh, Canada's got Tim Hortons. So uh, you've all got something going for you. All right, let's crack in because. This is our uh, vocal recording special, and uh, I've just been rabbiting on for the entire time. But we're working on a project, and uh, we worked on this on last week's show, and today is going to be a continuation. So if you missed last week, go back to GarageBand Weekly 114 if you want to see how we got to this point in the show, and uh, then we're going to crack on and continue with this project. So let's just do a quick recap, because we need to do a sound test as well to make sure everything's working here. We'll do a quick recap as to where we are with this track. So... This is from our friend Tremor Bear. You saw him in the chat. He's about to get a delicious burger. This is a track that uh, Tremor Bear put together, and he sent me the guitars, the bass, the drums. It's basically a full instrumental track and said, Pete, throw some vocals at it. Go your hardest. And I did, and I have been. So what we've done so far is I've recorded some doo-doo-doos and some da-da-das here. I've recorded a harmony idea for the second chorus down here, and I've recorded this little um, sort of ad-lib bit uh, that, that you'll hear in a moment. Uh, and if we put all these together here, that was my sort of original ideas for vocals. They need to go away. They're no good. So we're going to delete those. That was just the first time around. And then these are kind of our standard ones that we've got here. I've written some lyrics, and I'm going to show you those in a moment. Uh, but first, let's just listen through to a little bit of this. This has a really cool start. Uh, Bear's done a great job with the start of this track, and it sounds like this. Let's Just taking the vocals away so you can hear. that It's really cool. It's really cool basses here. We've got a couple of guitars here. We've got a lead guitar that comes in a little bit later here in the chorus where it does this bit. So the song's called An Illusion, uh, and that's really all I had was blah, 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 just an illusion, <laughs> and that's all we've got uh, so far in terms of words, but I'll show you what we've done with that in a moment. I've then uh, added here in the uh, final big uh, second chorus, we've got, and it's a pretty short song, but uh, I think it's a punchy pop punk type song, doesn't need to be long, so we've got some harmony vocals this time. Da, 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 da. It's an illusion. Which I think sounds good. And then towards the end, I don't like them this early on, but there's this just, just, just an illusion bit. So I don't think that sounds good there, but when you get here to the end, I like that that kind of carries on from here. So 
it was very much writing on the fly and experimenting and trying a few things back then. So we do need to re uh, reevaluate this and try and record these in with some actual words, which is what we're going to be doing here. Uh, uh, hello to Parody Whitney. Uh, thanks for dropping on by. I uh, appreciate you being here. Uh, yes, this one. This one. Duncan now will always be Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, that's right. And there's nothing like a Duncan, I've heard. Um, been trying to make get my roommate to make me a Beyond Burger for some reason. He doesn't want to. <laughs> See, yeah, uh, dirty little secret, but don't tell anyone. I'm a vegetarian, so I actually love the uh, the Beyond Burger stuff because I think um, yeah, I, I was a meat eater. I don't judge anyone. I ate meat for you know 35 years, and I haven't for nearly 10. So um, yeah, but God, some of those um, some of those Beyond Burger things, delicious. Just saying. Because again, for a lot of it, it's more about the sauce you have on there. It's more about the grilled onions. It's more about the, the texture and the flavor. And oh, I'm getting so hungry. Uh, so let's start recording. <laughs> I was just about to record vo uh, vocals before the vid came on. Great timing. There you go. I know. I'm hungry too. We're going to have to try and focus. Maybe hunger will uh, will make my vocals um, make my vocals even better. We don't know. Uh, oh, and the one thing, the one thing that we had a lot of fun with last week, and it still makes me smile. So Bear had this epic ending where it all just kind of goes, all just falls apart at the end. That I thought was really cool. So I actually took that concept and I added an effect to just slow the whole thing down and stop it here at the end. So uh, let's take a little listen to this one. <laughs> so I like that. I think it adds some old school flair. It's almost like, you know, you're, you're holding the tape down and the tape just goes, the tape just stops at the end. So we're, we're going with that for now. But because we've got some new vocals to record, guess what? We're going to come in here and we're going to mute all these out. So we're, these are all going away. We're leaving them there in case I need to. Now, this one here is my dummy track. I'm going to delete it because I'm going to show you from scratch here now. We've got past all that stuff. I'm going to show you from scratch here now how to record vocals in GarageBand, what you need to get set up here on the software side to do it. Now, a quick bit on the hardware. I'm using an AKG D5 microphone. It's a dynamic microphone because I'm going to be doing some shouty punk pop pop vocals. So I want a handheld dynamic that I can just uh, really grip and get into. So you could use a condenser microphone. I recommend the AT2020 or this one. They're both about a hundred bucks. If you're in the market and you can get both, then uh, I'd get both because it's handy to have one for when you've got sort of quieter, more subtle sounds and one where you're going to do some yelling and some screaming. So we're using this and I'm coming in through my Steinberg UR22C which is my uh, USB audio interface of choice. And uh, if you want to, jump on over to the gear guide, studiolivetoday.com slash gear. That has not only links to all this stuff, but videos about my whole studio setup, all the gear I use, how to actually connect things up, because I'm not going to cover how to plug in the audio interface, how to plug in the microphone, because I've got video guides that show that in detail. They'll be linked down in the description of this video if you want to check them out. So we've got our gear set up here. Now, because I'm using the audio interface, what I need to do is set up a new vocal track into channel one because that's where I've got this plugged into. I've got my two channel interface and we're going to tap on the plus button here and we're going to add vocals. Now, when you're adding new vocals, if you just tap directly on the audio recorder button here, and yes, we will turn on monitoring so that we can uh, hear, hear ourselves through there. there. It's going to put lead vocals on. It's going to do a few things. And I wanted to explain this up front for those that are maybe new to GarageBand and recording vocals. So with lead vocals on here, you can see we've got a tone knob here and it's adding a little bit of treble on that tone. So it's giving it a little bit more treble. We've got pitch control here turned off. That's important because if that is on, there is a significant latency, latency as, as you can, you can hear, because, because, I've because I've got, got two, two microphones, microphones on here, here you can, can hear, hear that if I sing, even though it's doing pitch control in real time, it's not, not quite, quite real time because it's got to process it. it. And listen, listen to what happens, happens when I turn this off. It's now almost zero latency. So it goes from being like very low millisecond rate latency to put pitch control on and you're going to T-paint it. Now, even though it's kind of cool to sing well with the pitch control, it gives you so much latency you can't do it. So turn pitch control off. Even if you think you might need help, you can add it back in later. It adds a compressor here and it adds vocal hall. That's that bit you can hear. Hello. That's that vocal hall reverb there. Now you can just play with these. You can turn the compressor up or down if you need to hear less or more of your vocal coming through. That's basically what that'll do. So with the compressor off, uh, what I'll do is I'll turn this microphone off. So with the compressor down here, it's giving us this sort of sound. If we turn the compressor up, you can hear it gives a lot more presence. And it's, it, it does, however, bring out a lot of the p -p -p 
a lot of the sibilants and the popping P sounds. So if you're finding yourself too poppy, you can put it down. Now, I'm just going to turn the vocal hall off now because that's annoying to listen to. But the vocal hall, as you can hear, as we turn it up, you can have a lot of that. And it's a very short tail reverb. So I tend to leave a little bit of that on there and have the compressor around about there. Now this tone control, if we turn this all the way up, it becomes very bright. If we turn this all the way down, you get a Barry White kind of bass sound. So again, I'll leave that you know, round about the middle or maybe a bit up. So uh, that is the basis of there. I also add a little bit of drive generally. So this just roughs it up a little bit. It just, just gently rubs it in the dirt. So I, I always put a bit of drive on there. Now, we'll come back over to, uh, to this mic up over here just so that I can talk to you about the other options you have. So that's the basics. If you don't want to go into a lot of detail, load up a preset, tweak your knobs here, and you'll be good to go. If you want to, however, I'm just going to turn monitoring off. By the way, monitoring off. So now, check one, two, three, four, five. We're not hearing through this microphone. We've got the monitor off. So what we can do, we can actually go into the next level of detail with these. So if you tap on this button here, your mixer icon, and you go to plugins and EQ, and we showed a little bit about this last week, but all of these ones correlate with these that are set up in the presets at least anyway. So our compressor, if we turn that off, see how our compressor grays out and we turn it back on. Now, if we make adjustments here with the compressor threshold, you can see that that's going up and down, but it's, it's sort of a bit weird and wacky because as you add these, it kind of does things to the compressor. But if you change just the compressor knob over here, see how it lowering the compressor brings the threshold up and it takes the percentage of mix of the compressor down. As you turn the compressor up, all it's doing is dropping that threshold. So it's, it's, it's basically applying more compression at a lower volume if you bring it down. So that's the correlation here. However, it's not touching things like your ratio. It's not touching things like your attack or your gain knob. So if you want more control over your compressor, I would suggest not playing around with it over here, but actually setting it over here. So you want, say, the mix at 100%, that'll put the compressor to there, and then you can adjust things like your ratio. So for me, I'll normally just play with this and put the ratio when I'm recording at least to about four to one, and and I'll lower the attack here so it kind of kicks in a bit quicker. So around about 10 millisecond attack. If you need to learn more about compression, I'm probably not going to talk about it in detail in this video. It basically just smooths out your performance. So what compression does is it turns, it turns down the loudest parts of the volume and then it brings the level back up. It's an important thing to use in your mixing, but when you're recording, you really just want to be able to hear what you're singing. So you don't have to worry about setting your compressor like you'd want it in your final mix, just set it so that you can hear. So what we'll do is we'll turn the monitor back on now that we've twiddled with this compressor. Check, one, two, three. So it, that's probably even coming through a bit too much. So I come back to the compressor here and I'd, I'd wrap this down a little bit. Check, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's, that's sounding about right. That's about where I'd want it to be. So that's compression, and that's the correlation between these effects and these ones over here. You can do the same sort of thing here with, say, your track reverb. This is what that vocal hall is here. So by default, as you see, again, as you turn this up, all it's doing is turning up the wetness. But you need to come in here if you want to change this. So if I want to change the spread here, so at the moment it's sort of making it a wider sound, I might want it to just not do that stereo widening. The reverb time here, as we go through each of these, we'll, uh, we'll put this back on. So monitoring on, check your, uh, your reverb time. If we wanted like a really long tail. Reverb for days. So you can have more reverb there. Your high cut. This means that it'll only apply reverb to particular frequencies. So you can m maneuver that there. If you're getting too much reverb in like the lower sounds, you can actually provide a high cut there to remove the reverb there. And then you've got your dry and your wet knob there. So your wetness, you can turn it completely off or you can add just a little bit like that. So you can see here, you get a whole lot more control here. And then the final one is the overdrive here. So the overdrive, you can put how much drive you're putting in there, and then you can adjust the tone. So I'll turn this mic off so you can hear it again. This is the tone we're getting through here. And what you can hear is as I turn this up, that drive is going into different frequencies. If it's down here, you can barely hear it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to cut it all off there. So we usually set the tone up around about here just so that you get a little bit of drive coming through on the vocal. So that's about where I'd set things for this. Probably a little still bit too much on that reverb. We'll just drop that off to like 3% and I reckon we're good. 
So that's a that's a very basic explanation of what I'll generally do when I'm setting up. Now, you do have other vocal presets that you can choose from. The lead vocals is probably the best because it gives you the compressor, it gives you the drive, it gives you the vocal hall out of the gate, but you can come in here and select different ones. So we'll leave that one because this is what we'll use to record this track. But if we came here and we added a new one, if you wanted to use a different preset, you can tap the more sounds button here and you can select from radio ready, punchy presence, sweet chorus, pop overdrive, heavy distortion, extreme stereo, extra singer, narrator, 60s vocal chorus, uh, 60s vocal flange, phaser, and box talking. So there's a heap in there. And you could even get a bit wacky and come and like play around with the drums or the keyboards or the acoustic guitar. And the final thing I'll say here is if you want to record 100% clean or you want to start from scratch and add your own effects, select fun and clean because this is going to give you an absolute clean channel. So if we turn the monitor on, check one, two, three, nothing. No, no sound there. And all you've got is this tone and this squeeze knob. So if we come over to here, we go plugins and EQ. We can remove the effect EQ, by the way. We can edit and get rid of that effect EQ. That'll get rid of that tone. And the squeeze on here is just your compressor. So when you turn the squeeze up, it's, it's just, just going to compress. compress. So if you don't want to play around with the compressor, but you want a little bit of compression, you can just use that squeeze knob. But then you can hit this edit button and add in whatever you want. So say you want specifically some track echo, 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 and you want uh, yourself a flanger so you can uh, sound a little far out, man. Uh, then you can uh, you can do that. So if you want to start from scratch and do everything yourself and dial it all in, you absolutely can do that by using the clean one. So that is the basics of getting ourselves set up and ready to record. We're just going to delete this second one. And as we go through, this is going to be an interactive kind of journey, interactive tutorial. So as we go through, you'll be able to uh, to jump in and, uh, and we'll try some different things. We'll, we'll use the lead vocals for our lead vocals and then maybe we'll use some of the other presets when we're playing around there. Uh, Trevor Bear says, I never really looked at this because I don't do vocals often. Yeah, and, and even if you don't do vocals often, maybe you've done vocals a few times and you've been frustrated because they don't sound right. It might be because you just need to learn a little bit. You don't need to know a lot, but a little bit more about compression and about EQ and some of the effects that we have in here. So we will tackle those as we go through in the next uh, 40 minutes in this video. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's uh, let's continue on with this, shall we? Uh, so we've got our track set up here. What we need to do is uh, make sure that we have monitoring back on again. So we're going to tap on our little icon button there. We're going to turn our monitor on. Check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yes, <laughs> and I agree. Trevor Bear should do vocals more often. Singing bears are a rarity. Right? Da -dum -tsh. All right, so let's uh, let's get ourselves set up here and ready to sing this track. Now, I'll, uh, I've got the words here, but I won't bring them up on the screen just yet so that you can, because uh, I've never actually tested these. I wrote Here's the thing. I wrote these in the car on the way home from the beach. <laughs> I wasn't driving, so it's okay. It was all safe. Uh, but I, I wrote these very recently. And um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll sing them here for the first time. They may fit in here and uh, they may not. But that's all right, we can workshop them as we go. But I wanted actual words so that when we're recording these vocals and I'm showing you this here in GarageBand, then uh, we'll be able to actually hear it. So I'm going to hit the record button and uh, wish me... Oh, before we do, final tip before we hit record. We're going to create that dummy track I talked about. So if you have... I know I've showed this before, but a lot of people miss this. If you've got a two-channel interface, here's the thing. If you hit record, it puts us over onto this view. Now, I hate this view. I don't like recording in this view because I want to see my other tracks. I want to be able to see and play along and watch these other tracks so I know what sort of section I'm up to. So we'll undo that. What I'm going to do is hit the plus button. It's a very, very simple thing. We're just going to hit audio recorder and then we're going to change this to channel two. If you've got a two channel interface, you can do this. Leave monitoring off and go back to your track view. Now, all you need to do is select both tracks. So the record light has to be on on both tracks. Select this one as the one we're actually recording. Make sure the monitor light is on this one. Check, Check one, two, and then we're good to go. So let's hit the record button and record us in some vocals for this song. Let's drink a toast to all the confusion Make sense of it all and quickly forget 
It's time to think of all the people who need help You call it truth, I call it opinion So worries about wrong, we forget about right And all this time there's people who just need a hand Don't worry at all, it's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself, it's just an illusion Stay close to home and board off your windows and your doors Just say to yourself, it's just an illusion All right, we'll pause that one there because there's a couple of things that I did wrong here. And uh, I, I deliberately did this wrong so uh, we can actually jump in. Um, let's... Uh, <laughs> more hooks than a crochet, crochet shop. I read that as crotchet shop. That's that's a bit weird. Uh, crochet shop. So what, what went wrong here? Um, so what I was noticing here is on my audio interface, the little red light was coming on and it said peak. And that means that I'm clipping my signal. Now, this is the one thing you don't want to do. In a digital environment, you do not need your signal very loud. So, and you can even see by the waveform here, if we zoom in on this, see how this waveform, especially when I'm like yelling the chorus bits here, <laughs> it's, it's too loud. And if we play this back, like if we come in here and we play this back. Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors. Just say to yourself, so we've got a couple of problems here. The compressor is too hot and our overall signal is too hot. So there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to turn down. So at the moment, uh, the input gain, now this is all on the hardware side. If you're using an audio interface, you might notice that you can't change your slider over here. This is grayed out. If you're using an analog device or you're just using your built-in mic, you may be able to turn that up and down there. But I need to grab my knob and I'm gonna turn it. So at the moment, it's at three o'clock. I'm gonna come back down to about 1.30. So I'm actually between the first and the second dot, the one o'clock and the two o'clock dot. That's where I'm gonna start uh, with. And I think, La -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. I think that's gonna be a bit better. Now the compression, as I said, it was the combination of the overdrive and the compression. We've got too much drive on here. So I'm gonna drive this back to just about two dBs. And I think it was, uh, I think we need to drop that one a little bit as well. And the compressor, we need to come in here, actually, yeah, the output's fine. There's a spider. There's a spider on my desk. Uh, see a spider. Uh, and the compressor, uh, we've probably got a bit too much ratio on there, and we went a little bit overboard with the attack there. So let's uh, check this one out now. La da 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 so we're going to go with that now uh, as our basis. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect now. We can definitely change it around a bit. Uh, all right, so we need, we're lower now. We're not going to be clipping our signal. I'm going to sing it again. That one, that one's just going into the uh, cutting room floor. There's nothing salvageable there because I could hear the clipping, and uh, I'm not going to want to use that. Plus, it was the first time singing these new vocals, so uh, we're going to give it another go. So we're going to delete that one. We're going to come back to the start. Make sure again that our two tracks are set here. That this one's the one that's uh, highlighted and has our monitoring on. Ba ba ba. And the other thing was I couldn't quite hear my vocals enough. So. This is where you need to get this around, get around your head. It's hard to, but this is my output gain. Check, 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 check. So you can turn this up as loud as you want, as long as you don't touch your input gain. So you've got two volumes when it comes to recording. You've got the input volume, which is what you can clip, and you've got the output volume, which is just what it's playing back. So turn that up. If you can't hear yourself, don't turn up the input gain or turn down the other tracks. But Definitely don't turn up your input gain or add more compression, but don't turn up your input gain. All right, enough said. Let's hit the record button. Let's give this one another crack. La da 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 da, la da 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 da. Whoa. Too much lead in. You know what I've done? You can see it, can't you? You can see it. I soloed this. <laughs> Let's try it again. And let's actually come to the, around the start here because we don't need to listen to all of that uh, every time. All right, take three. I did it again. How did I do the exact same thing again? How did I solo that? I swore I unsoloed it. Take four. <sighs> Take 
Let's drink a toast to all the confusion. Make sense of it all and quickly forget. It's time to think of all the people who need help. You call it truth, I call it opinion. Don't worry about wrong, we forget about right. And all this time there's people who just need our hand Don't worry at all, it's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself, it's just an illusion Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors Just say to yourself, it's just an illusion it's easy to look without really seeing And all the things you don't want to see Open up your mind and then your heart will follow through You call it hate, I call it addiction You bury the truth while I shine the light and all this time we could be doing better things But don't worry at all, it's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself, it's just an illusion Stay close to home, and board up your windows and your doors And just say to yourself, it's just an illusion Oh, 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 And the end, which is just so epic, right? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I just wanted to get through that one take. It wasn't, it wasn't sung beautifully, but I think we had the levels about right, and I think we can tweak this to uh, to make it a working starting point uh, for a little bit of this. Yeah, we got the old. Hey, Noel over there on the Twitch. Hope it. Hope you're doing well. Ah, uh, yes, it is an illusion. It is an illusion. All right. <laughs> Toto, are we not in Kansas anymore? Uh oh, what's going on? Hello to uh, Rhett, Rhett James Pietzman. Uh, do we have some? Um, do we have some spammage going on? <laughs> the intro is great, isn't it? The intro is really good. Uh, hello, Gazo uh, of Oz. Hello, Ashley H M. By the way, hello to any folks who have dropped on in. So, uh, yeah, uh, by the way, this is all a work in progress and a collaborative effort. So if you have ideas as we go along here, if you have things that, uh, that you think should be changed, that you could be, that you think should be added in, then let me know. But what we'll do to start with is let's just uh, listen back to this, shall we? Uh, we'll, we'll listen to it solo just to make sure that it's, um, it's okay. And uh, <laughs> we'll chop off any sort of ramblings that I do at the start because I tend to often do that. Uh, let's see. Let's drink a toast to all the confusion. Definitely need some DSing going on here. Make sense of it all and quickly forget. All right. So it's, it's, it's sounding okay, but for me, just to hear this a little bit at the moment, I, I want a little bit of a bass boost in this one because I think that it's sounding a little bit too crispy. So in fact, it'll probably be just something in the sort of high mids here that I want to remove uh, because rather than boosting the bass. So let's uh, let's just listen to this again. We'll turn off the monitoring, actually, and take a listen to this. And I'm going to do a little bit of vocal sweeping here just to find the crispy bits that we might want to remove here. It's time to think of all the people who need help. You call it truth, I call it opinion. So yeah, a little, little bit around there. 
So worry about wrong, we forget about right. I'll just give it a little bass shelf there. And all this time, there's people who just need our hand. And again, because I was like not really uh, you know, focused on the, the vocals, I was more focused on remembering how to sing them, they'll get better when we do the polished version. But again, this is us sort of finding the tones of the vocals that we want and uh, doing a bit of the work on the arrangement of these vocals as well. So uh, let's bring this back into our mix, shall we? And see uh, see what it's sounding like with the guitars. Let's take a go to all the confusion. Let's get to it all and quickly forget. It's time to think of all the people who need help. You call it truth, I call it opinion So worry about wrong, forget about right And all this time there's people who just need our hand Don't worry at all, it's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself all right, so uh, I just tweaked a little bit there. I increased the the tone of the overdrive there because it was sounding a little bit muffled. So I wanted a bit more clarity there. And as you saw there in the EQ, just I just dropped like, around that nasally kind of frequency. Uh, then uh, we need to drive. Mark says it needs a little more air. Yeah, I think so. I think there was that that was that overdrive that was doing it. But we might also want to put a bit of a high shelf on here as well. It's just an illusion. Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors. Just say to yourself, just an illusion. See, it's already in my head. Um, <laughs> it is, it's so, like, again, I, I thank Bear for this because it was so easy to write a hook for this because he just said an illusion and I went da 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 illusion and I'm like, that, that's what it's got to be. All right. Now, what I want to do is we're going to start naming our tracks because I'm going to come over here and get all serious. I'm going to name this track because this is going to be our lead vox. So we're going to go vox bracket lead. That's just how I use my naming conventions. And I'm going to work out sort of what I need here. We're going to duplicate that one out and make this one a, a vox double. So we'll, uh, we'll use the same settings on that track. And this is going to be our doubled vocal. And the doubles, I don't think we need a double throughout the whole thing, but we definitely need it in the the choruses, the chori. So uh, let's find our chorus, which is... Uh, Don't worry at all, it's just an illusion. I think it needs some delay. Before we before we go on too much, I'm going to add in a little delay. Do I use them? I might just use the master delay. So we'll just use our master echo here. Uh yeah, maybe the quarter note delay is going to be the best for this. Let's just uh, let's just test it. Don't trouble yourself. It's just an illusion. Yeah. Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors. Just say to yourself, it's just an illusion. Yeah, I reckon that's about right. Um. And again, the mix here, every time I mix this, I turn the guitars, the guitars are so cool, I turn them up way too loud, and then I have to sort of bring everything down. So we'll, we'll work on that over time, but let's, um, let's get this second track. In fact, we'll, we'll delete that vocal double, because we'll reduplicate it now that we've added, now that we've added those uh, changes to effects, we'll re-add it here. We'll go to our rename, and yeah, please, uh, please don't do as I do and not name your tracks early, because uh, uh, yeah, it's not a good idea. So we're go vocal double, and the uh, we're good. What are we going to do now? Well, we're going to save it, of course. We're going to hit the save button. So top left, save it out there. And what we're going to do is we're going to start... Actually, where is this save? This is in my bear folder, I think. <laughs> so we'll just make sure we can find where we put these. So I think we're in GarageBand for iOS bear. And there's an illusion too. So this is the way I use GarageBand iOS version control is we tap and hold and we duplicate. And now we've got an illusion three. So before we start fiddling more, I know that this one's an okay version. Let's start breaking version three now, shall we? <laughs> and adding in some more stuff. So we'll grab our mic. We'll turn the monitor on. Oh, see, now you got that echo on there. Um, I might turn it off or at least down a little bit while I'm tracking. I can turn it back on afterwards. So I'm just going to sing another version of the uh, the uh, chorus over the top of this one. Let's try this, shall we? Oh, forget about right. 
spend all this time There's people who just need our hand Don't worry at all It's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself It's just an illusion Stay close to home And part up your windows and your doors Just stay to yourself just an illusion. It's easy to look without really seeing. Oh, did we get a Rager score there? <laughs> what is uh, what is happening? Oh no! Whew. Canucks are up two to nothing in the uh, second. All right. Uh, sorry for those that aren't into hockey, they're already into music. Uh, I apologise. So now we've got a vocal double here. Uh, Don't worry at all. It's just an illusion. So I think that's going to sound better in this chorus. Don't trouble yourself, it's just an illusion. Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors. Just say to yourself, it's just an illusion. It's easy to look. All right, so we definitely need, uh, for this final chorus, we also need the double vocal. Uh, so let's come down to our final chorus here and find it. But don't worry at all. Don't worry at all. What does this sound like? It sounds like the uh, melody of a song that I know that's in my head, but I can't think of what it is. Let me know if you if you recognise this. <laughs> uh, so let's record this uh, chorus again. And all this time we could be doing better things. But don't worry at all. It's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself It's just an illusion Stay close to home And board up your windows and your doors And just say to yourself It's just an illusion love the end uh so i wasn't planning to do that i was just going to do the double but then i realized i wanted to then record the uh the harmony like so the harmony end part there so uh, i just recorded it onto that one so we'll just duplicate this out because i do want to separate that from the double so let's just listen back with the double and we could be doing better things but don't worry at all it's just an illusion in your dark All right, so that's the point where we want to separate it here, just about there, and we'll split this just so that we can process it differently and maybe pan it differently. So we'll bring this down onto this track, and we'll rename this, boom, 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 boom. rename you to Vox uh, End Harmony. I don't know what that means. Again, don't worry about your naming conventions and don't even worry about spelling them correctly, apparently. But as long as you know what you mean, <laughs> uh, unless you're working with other people and collaborating, which I'm kind of doing in this one, then maybe you need to. Uh, there you go. Uh, sounds like Solitary Man by Johnny Cash. Oh, maybe. Very cool. Uh, yeah, how's your burger? How's your burger? And this, this is going to be a good song, Bear. Uh, I, if I can do it justice with these lyrics and vocals, uh, we can get it all recorded in and sound and pretty, then I think it's going to be pretty good. All right, so uh, we've got the little end harmony bit there now because this will have to sort of come up in volume a wee bit. So let's listen to all this. Just yourself, it's just an illusion. Can you um yeah? Can you hear that? Like that? That's what I'm hearing in the ending there, uh, and I think I think it's going to sound good. I think once we get it all happening, it'll sound good. Now uh, I want some I want some harmonies in the chorus. Now at this point, I don't know whether I want the harmony in both the first and second chorus, but you can't it can't hurt to record it in both the second and the co se second. <laughs> 
<laughs> Does mention I've been on holidays? It can't hurt to record it in both the first and the second chorus. So we're going to do that here. I'm going to skip the record button and we're going to uh, record this one here. We'll bring our words back up and uh, try this out with our. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry at all. All right, we'll try this out. Don't we forget about right. And all this time, there's people who just need our hand. Don't worry at all. It's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself It's just an illusion Stay close to home And board up your windows and your doors Just say to yourself It's just an illusion It's easy to look was that the uh, was that the one I did originally? See, this is why I keep the original stuff that we did up here because I wanted to make sure that this is kind of what I was doing with that original one. Now, was this the double or was this the uh, click 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 right here? <laughs> da 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 delusion. Yeah, it was. It's just slightly out of my range. As you can tell, <laughs> so I'll have to re when I sing it, I'll have to get away from the mic a bit and really sort of blast it out. So um, let let's try this one again. We'll unsolo that one, and because it's going to be the harmony, I could even go into my head voice uh, into my um, falsetto if I need to. But uh, we'll try it again <clears throat> one more time in the chest voice uh, because I've been <laughs> because I've been uh, out for the weekend uh, and I did a show yesterday. The voice is a little bit. So it probably was a bad idea to do a vocal show today. <laughs> but I wanted to get these vocals written and recorded, at least a demo version, so that we can uh, crack on with this song in March, give ourselves a head start. So uh, let's, uh, let's try this again. Don't worry about wrong, forget about right. And all this time there's people who just need our hand. Don't worry at all. It's just an illusion Don't trouble yourself It's just an illusion Stay close to home And board up your windows and your doors Just say to yourself It's just an illusion It's easy to look uh, yeah, might be able to hide that behind, might do a double of that harmony for the final version to, to kind of hide behind it, <laughs> which sounds bad. We just it. need our hands, don't worry at all, it's just an illusion, don't trouble yourself, it's just an illusion. It's just an illusion. I reckon it can go la la la. So I reckon the second time we record this, I'll record it slightly differently. We'll go up and down. Um, yeah, I think I know what I mean. <laughs> we'll try it on this second one. And all this time we could be doing better things. But don't worry at all. It's just an illusion. Don't trouble yourself. It's just an illusion Stay close to home And board up your windows and your doors And just say to yourself It's just an illusion Don't know about any of that, but um, the, the quickest way to know whether uh, some harmonies worked is to get them out of the way of the original <laughs> and just see if they work without the uh, backing track. And if they sound awful then and you're just burying them with the track, then you know you're onto something bad. But don't worry at all, it's just an illusion. Don't trouble yourself, it's just an illusion. Sounds like chili peppers. Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors. I reckon that sounds not bad. What do you think? And just say to yourself, it's just an illusion. 
All right, how about this? Yeah, I think that could work. The, the problem is when we go to the woe woes, because I did the low woes on my lead vocal track, these need to be separated out. Say to yourself, it's just an illusion. Oh. All right, so where we start the whoa. So we'll split the vocals in between there. And what we'll do, we'll call this, uh, duplicate it out. We'll call this one the vocal. Sorry, I'm using my finger because I can't reach over there with the mouse. So, sorry that you can't see where I'm tapping. So, this is the Vox. Uh, oh, coming over here for a sec. Ending low. Sorry, I couldn't reach over there. <laughs> so, uh, we've got the Vox ending low and we'll grab this one and we'll shim it on down to there. Thump. Boom. And uh, then we'll unsolo all these. And that just means that we've got volume control over this one. Now, I could use automation, sure, but yeah, I, I want it just to be a little bit different. All right, so what have we got here? We've got our double vocal here. So this is our vocal double that's going to be doing... Oh, what is this one doing at the end? I'm going to have to do some cleanup after the show. What have we got? 10 minutes, all right. Doing better thing. I think this is our... Don't worry at all. It's just an illusion. So that's our harmony. Oh, because we, that was... Don't trouble yourself. So that's our double. So this one we're going to change to harmony. I was confusing myself there. All right. Okay, so we will rename this one to Vox. And this is going to be our chorus harmony. So we'll go... Uh, chorus harmony. All right, you can see how something simple, a simple idea suddenly uh, grows into many, many tracks. But it's not too bad. We've still only got... Uh, what, one, two, three, four, five vocal tracks. So we have a lead vocal track, we have a vocal double, we have uh, the ending low one that we split out from our original vocal, we have the chorus harmony tracks, in fact, let's just bring that up here, and then we have the, the, the low and the end harmony high. So this is where we can start sort of playing around with these, that we can get some panning going on. So I think this will give it a bit more width at the end here, if we take this one and shimmy it all the way to the left, and this one to the right. Because now, when we bring these two together... They're going to do this. Just, just, just an illusion. That's right, because we still have that just, just, just an illusion. That's the final bit that we wanted to do there as well. Uh, so I'll, we'll record that. We'll record the just, just, just an illusion, which is going to be our uh, our last little bit of vocal that we're going to do for today. And then we'll do it, do, do some final stuff here just to show you how once you've got these in place, you can tweak them to your heart's content. You don't have to be stuck with the vocal tone that you've recorded. That's the beauty of recording in a door uh, platform like this. You can have complete control even after the fact. So let's rename this one. Uh, let me know, by the way, let me know in the comments. If you're here live, let me know in the chat or let me know in the comments below if this sort of stuff helps you. Uh, it really helps me because uh, you guys have good ideas as we go through this one. Uh, this is going to be the, uh, the ad libs. Boop, 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 boop. Not really ad libs, but that will that will remind me what it is. Um, yeah, and f feel free to hit the thumbs up button if you are finding value in this. And again, I don't expect every tip that I put in every video to be something that you use. But if as long as there's like one aha moment every now and then where you're like, oh yeah, okay, I've never thought of doing it that way. So there you go. Oh, it's three nothing Canucks. This is a bit rough. I was gonna I was gonna sit down for a quiet beer after this one and uh, watch the rest of the game. I might not. Uh, Mark says splitting is often easier than automation and gives you more options. Totally. If you've got enough tracks, splitting out and putting it onto a second track just gives you more control over your automation, but also uh, over your volume, but also your effects. So I often use an extra track uh, to do that. Strike the like. Yeah, crush it, smash it, destroy the like button. Pfft, come on, man. Uh, man, I've been watching too many of my children watching too many YouTube shorts. Actually, YouTube shorts are good. Here, here's a quick rant for you. YouTube shorts are good because they don't have time to say smash the like and TikTok's the same. People just have to put, I don't actually mind it these days. I was railing against it, but people have to put thought into it and create content that actually gets straight to the point. 
Whereas some YouTube videos I watch that are like 12 minutes long, the first three minutes is them telling you why you should like them and why you should comment and subscribe. And it's getting ridiculous now to the point where they're saying, oh, and turn the notifications on and then go into your settings. If you're on a mobile, go into your... Like, seriously, spending 30 seconds telling you how to like them more. Like, no, it should be... If it's not obvious, then it shouldn't be happening. All right, so we're going to record... <laughs> You get so you get value here. You get extra rants for for free. Check one, two, just just revolution. Now, what what? How was I singing this? Uh, let's just come back to this one and see. Oh, just 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 an illusion. All right, just 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 an illusion. Just just something like that. I reckon would be better. So let's just see if we can uh, record this in here. We'll hit the record button. We'll use our dummy track this time like we did before. And all this time we could be doing better things. But don't worry at all. It's just an illusion. Just, just, just an illusion. Don't trouble yourself. It's just an illusion. Just, just, just an illusion. Stay close to home. And bought up your window just, and just, your door. I think that might work, but oh, I've, I've hit the space bar in the wrong spot. I think that might work, but I don't like it coming in that early. I think it needs to just come in uh, later on. So I reckon we, we scrub it from the front here and let's just see where it's logically going to come in. Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors. Just stay to yourself. It's just an illusion. Just an illusion Just, just, just an illusion Just, just, just an illusion Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do to that. I wanted to get that note and for it to do the proper... <laughs> Yeah, there. All right. So uh, we've made some progress here. I think going from something, oh, let's not forget to save, save it out, save it out, and bring it back in. And the most important thing is that Bear says he really likes this because it is always daunting when you're collaborating and you're working with someone else. You're taking their their baby, and uh, you you need to you need to like treat it well. Yeah, you need to give it the right food and the right attention and not be too overbearing and overbearing. See what I did there? Uh, but yeah, I think I think it's coming together. Now, the other thing that I don't really have time to show in detail is that if we've got this lead vocal, so say we can undo this, but uh, you have to be careful. But say I've got this lead vocal sound. Let's drink a toast to all the confusion. Which I don't mind. But what if we wanted to say, oh, maybe this will sound uh, better with the radio ready. We can just switch it up. And look, it goes to all your default radio ready ones. And see. Make sense of it all and quickly forget. See, it's like a drier kind of sound. Or what about our punchy presence? What's that going to sound like here, hey? It's, it's time to think of all the people who need help. That's not actually bad. So, And this is the thing. You can start finding things. But we can we might want a little bit of delay with this. So we might want to tweak it a little, a little bit. Help. You call it truth, I call it opinion. So it's got that stereo delay on there now, which sounds a bit sort of punk. So worry about wrong, we forget about right. So it's really easy to just change things up on the fly. And in fact, I'm going to leave that there. So uh, when we listen through, let's just see if we can get this sounding cool with that tone there. Yeah, we're talking attention spans now. I know. It's a slippery slope. I'm like, oh, thank goodness we have shorts because it's helping, you know, not have these people self-promoting all the time. But the flip side is attention spans are going, Beow. but 
hey, it's kind of life, isn't it? It's reality. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering about this song, I wanted to write a song that was going to be puzzling, that wasn't really saying anything about anything. Obviously, there's a lot of topics going on in the world at the moment, and I could have written it about any of those. But I wanted this to basically just say, like it says, let's drink a toast to all the confusion, make sense of it all, and quickly forget. It's time to think of all the people who need help. Um, so it's really just saying, while we're spending all this time quibbling and worrying about things and doing things and, and disagreeing with each other, how about we put some of that energy at least into, you know, helping people who are living below the poverty line or who are struggling with addiction or who are just having a really bad time of it? Like, just just, just be cool. Be cool, people. <laughs> I know a five-minute video will be considered long soon. All right. Okay, we're going to go out with this one. I wanted to, We're going to listen to it real quick here at the end. And then, guess what? you got homework to do. Because, uh, not homework, but uh, because I'm late here today, our buddy Ron over at uh, Ron Ward's Indie Music Live, uh, we need to all go and support him. And I would love if you would all go and knock on Ron's door straight after the show. So let's uh, let's jump in and see. Now, oh, he's playing some Brad example right here, right now. So that that's pretty cool. If that's not a reason why you should get on over there, I don't know what is. Uh, I've lost my I've lost my OBS now, so I can't I can't switch back. <laughs> there I, there it is. <laughs> let's show you there. So yeah, there he is. Look at him, Rock and Ronnie Ward. Playing, uh, playing a bit of Brad example there. Looking cool. He says he's got a new Beatles t-shirt today too. Yeah, you can see, look, he's got his Beatles t-shirt going on. It's all happening over there with Rockin' Ronnie Ward. So uh, we will go out uh, listening to this full song and doing a few little tweaks. Uh, but I do highly recommend you get over there to Rockin' Ronnie Ward, like I'm about to do. Uh, wipe your feet and hit the like button on your way out of here. And then uh, proceed post haste uh, to Ron Ward over there on uh, Indie Music live you know it's a good time all right let's uh let's take a listen to this one we'll do a little bit of mixing on the fly and then uh, we'll be returning wrong one wrong one there we go we'll be returning to this next week because um because i've got a bunch of other stuff that's going on at the moment i'm probably going to be a total cheat and i reckon the march episodes of garage band weekly will be us working on this project because i think we can talk enough about different things so this one we're doing vocals we then of course need to do mixing and uh, you know, look at things like automation and compression and reverb and delays and all that sort of thing and then mastering and i figure we can do all those here in GarageBand on ios and all all learn a few things as we go so uh, let's listen to this track as we go thank you all for hanging out here today thanks for coming here at the later time and uh thank you bear for letting me play around with your track i appreciate it i think it's uh, going to be a cool one so let's take a listen to this one this this is the first kind of cut of the full demo version with lyrics and vocals of uh, An Illusion by Tremor Bear. Let's drink a toast to all the confusion. Make sense of it all and quickly forget. It's time to think of all the people who need help You call it truth, I call it opinion Don't worry about wrong, forget about right And all this time there's people who just need our hand Don't worry at all, it's just an illusion Trouble yourself, it's just an illusion Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors Just say to yourself, it's just an illusion It's easy to look without really seeing And all the things you don't want to see Open up your mind and then your heart will follow through You call it hate, I call it addiction You bury the truth while I shine the light And all this time we could be doing better things But don't worry at all, it's just an illusion Trouble yourself, it's just an illusion Stay close to home and board up your windows and your doors Just say to yourself, it's 
just an illusion. <laughs> Every time makes me laugh. Uh, one more mixing thing. I know we're not mixing here today, but that lead guitar at the end there, because I'm bringing in a lot of volume with the vocals, uh, when it goes into that, whoa, whoa, whoa it, needs to, um, it needs to come up. Uh, so we're just going to split. Uh, oh, it's, it's conveniently split right about that point. Uh, let's just see if it's going to be exactly the right point. Yeah, it's, it's just here. So we're just going to use some clip gain on this. We could use automation, but clip gain is going to do it. We'll just gain this up maybe like 7-ish dB because it needs to really cut through. Let's just see if this is going to work, and then we'll be done. <laughs> Is that the right track that's doing it? Yeah. It might even need to be a bit louder. We'll just gain it. We'll gain it all the way because I reckon it really needs to just cut through this mix, right? Yeah. There we go. All right, yeah, a little more of that guitar. So we may have to play with some automation when we do the mixing, but guess what? You're going to have to wait a whole week to see that process happen. Uh, so thank you again for being here. We'll save out that version, and uh, all I have to do is uh, come over here, not to that one, but to this one, and say thank you for hanging out with me. I know it was a different show today, but hopefully you still got some fun and some value. Uh, hit the like button on your way out. Get over to Rock and Ronnie Ward right now, because I told him I'd be about an hour, and I've been an hour and five minutes. So uh, go watch some indie music live and tell him that Pete sent you over there. And if you watching on the replay and you've got feedback about the songs, about the lyrics, about the mixing, about the vocals, about anything, uh, leave me a comment. Always love to hear from you. I'm always down there in the comments. I answer every single one of them. All right. Thank you, folks, for being here. Thank you again to Bear. And uh, please, this week, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Keep creating. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.